guys. This is Josh Wolf. I hope you're not sick of me by now. All these videos. Some of you guys probably are. But anyway, today I'm going to give you a weird trick. A weird trick to save your joints, to protect your joints in pretty much every exercise that you do. There's always exceptions to the rules, okay? I love the science of training and that's why everyone's different, every scenario is different. But in general, do this trick with pretty much everything you do to protect your joints. What's the trick? The trick is to do a small range of motion in the safest range of motion to warm up your joints. Instead of doing a full range of motion, it might be stretching your joints too much too early. An example would be this. We have a bench dip where you grab a dip, uh, grab a ledge, and either your feet are on the ground, or if you're stronger, you can put your feet up on the ledge, and you're going to dip down, right? Usually they're called bench dips, right? If you notice, I'm not bending my arms that far down. When I get warmed up, then I'll start to stretch my shoulder farther, right? The reason why I want you just doing a partial rep range, I want you to get the blood in that muscle, I want you to get those, lubri those joints lubricated, which takes a couple of sets, I want you to warm up your body first before you, before you then stretch your shoulder way down, okay, because going down, yes, is going to work the chest more, it's going to stretch the triceps more, and work the back arms more, but going down stretches the shoulder way behind the body, you see that? You must, you must be warm up properly before you do full ranges of motions, especially with a move such as this. So again, just do small ranges of motion, bend the arms just a little bit, and I want you to squeeze, right? After a couple sets, start getting down a little bit farther, a little bit farther, as far as you feel comfortable. No matter how warmed up you are, this move is still dangerous when you go all the way down. So I still suggest to not do a 100% rep, rep range motion on this exercise to protect your shoulders. Listen to your body. Thank you very much. This is Josh Wolf from Wolfpack. Have a nice day. Hi guys, I'm going to show you another tip with the bench dip to develop your back arms even more, right? And this simple tip is, I want you to do different grips, different variations, right? In general, the wider your grip, the wider your grip, the le less it tends to hit the back arm, the more it tends to hit the, the chest and the shoulders. The closer your grip, the more it tends to hit your back arm. However, however, but, Every part, every grip that you do is working your triceps a little differently at a little different area of that back arm. So, to develop better triceps with bench dips, and especially if you're not doing a whole lot other than bench dips or body weight exercises, do multiple different grips. So I want you to do some sets wide, I want you to do some sets really close back there. And remember, the harder you squeeze, the harder you get, right? Squeeze those triceps. Hey guys, Josh Wolf here again. I'm going to give you another tip when it comes to the bench dip in order to get the best results and to minimize injury, right? Um, I already talked about how you don't want to go too low on your dip because it stretches your shoulders way back, potential injury. And you really don't want to go down that far anyway until you're warmed up, right? I'm going to show you another thing that will protect your rotator cuff and minimize chance of injury so you continue to accomplish your fitness goals. And that tip is this. When you're doing the dip, I want your core, the back right here, to be close to the ledge, no more than two or three inches away from the ledge. So you're doing your dip with your core close to the ledge. That keeps 
you from stretching your shoulder way out here and possibly injuring your shoulder, right? So if you're And remember guys, when you're doing the dip, you can have your feet on the ground, or as you get stronger, you can have your feet on the ledge. So, an example at point, you can have your feet on the ground while you do your dips, right? And even help you help yourself using your legs to push yourself up as a self-spotter if you need to, right? But as you get stronger, put your legs up a little bit higher on something, right? As you get stronger, put your legs even higher on something, right? So you can really challenge those back arms, right? Remember, the harder you squeeze, the harder you get, right? Thank you. So guys, anytime your arm is behind your rotator cuff, behind your shoulder, we are at potential risk of rotator cuff or shoulder injury due to the stretching in the shoulder. Now there are many exercises that we do in our routine that has the arms behind the shoulder when you look at um, the world of fitness, okay? And it's okay if you know what you're doing and you're properly warmed up, but we must always understand that when the arm is behind the shoulder, we are in a dangerous position, right? In martial arts, what do they tell you? The farther away the arm is to the body, the more vulnerable you are. Someone grabs it, you're in a dangerous position. You can tweak your arm, right? They say, keep your arms close in here so you can't get your arm twisted or whatever. Well, the same thing is with weights. The farther away the arm is from the body, it is stretching the shoulder awkwardly and we can have injury. The dip is one such example. So knowing this, we know we must be warmed up. We know that the farther you go down, the more stretch there is in the shoulder. So only go down if you're experienced and you are warmed up, right? You don't have to go all the way down to still work that arm, right? And so we also know that the farther the body is away from the bench when you're doing your dip, the more you're stretching your shoulder. Be aware of your shoulder position to protect yourself. That's, that's, that's just all I'm saying. So. All right, thank you very much.